Welcome biologists. Today we are looking at ecosystems taken from 6.3.1 for OCR A-level biology A and we're looking at a succession. So succession is a process by which an ecosystem will change over time and it can be seen as you move inland from a beach as species become more diverse the more you move away from a beach. Succession occurs due to changes in the environment causing the plant and animal species uh, present in the, the ecosystem to change. So we've got primary and secondary succession. Primary succession starts or occurs where we have newly formed land and there's no soil present. So an example of this would be a volcanic island that has recently been formed, for example, in the Pacific Ocean. Secondary succession, however, occurs where we already have soil present, but, but no animal or plant species. So we'd start here. So after maybe harvesting of crops, or it might be a forest fire, or it might be deforestation. You remove the plants or crops from the area, and over time, it would develop again into that climax community. So soil is already present in my secondary succession. Succession takes place in stages, um, which is known as a serial stage. And each of these stages, the key species can be identified and it, that change the abiotic factors, especially the soil, to make it more suitable for the existence of the next species. So we start off with our pioneer species or our pioneer community. This is a red box, it's taken from the mark scheme. Now the pioneer species, these arrive before the climax. They show um, a greater, a, 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 they're greater adapted for change. They have a lower biodiversity, they're less stable and also very low biomass. Examples of pioneer species will include things like the lichen and the mosses. Now, these lichen and mosses are really important because they can fix nitrogen, they can photosynthesize, they can tolerate extreme conditions which are present in this hostile and harsh environment here of bare rock. And really important here, they weather the rocks to create a layer of hummus. Now, hummus is a very thin layer of soil, which is needed for the next lot of organisms, plant organisms to grow up. So our next lot is the intermediate species or intermediate community. And this is where the pioneer species, such as your mosses and your lichens, will die off and they'll add to the soil. And this layer of soil is now thick enough to be able to support grasses and small flowering plants, which are your intermediate species. These small flowering plants and grasses then outcompete my mosses and my lichens, my pioneer species. This out-competing and this competition is really important and it's seen throughout succession. The very final stage is called the climax community and this is when the intermediate species would die off. They'd also add to the soil which is now becoming thicker and thicker and this is able to support uh, larger shrubs and trees and these larger shrubs and trees will outcompete the grasses and the flowering plants for things like light, space and nutrients. Examples of things in the climax community would be for example oak and or hickory. Um, also, as you go through succession, the um, the ability to be able to support a more diverse um, invertebrate and mammal or organisms will develop. So, for example, as we start to get more grasses, you'll start to see more invertebrates coming into the area. As we start to get more grasses and shrubs, you might see things like small mammals, such as mice or rabbits, as they can feed on the invertebrates and also there's more habitats available for them. And as you get into the climax community, you'll about to see larger organisms, such as maybe your foxes that can prey on the rabbits, and also maybe large organisms such as deer, because they've got a, a, their ideal community and habitat in this area. Um, so the, this community here, this is stable. Uh, there, are, may, there might be some dominant animal and plant species here, but there might not be. So this summarizes it for you a little bit. As we start off on the bare rock, we've got very hostile conditions, very low species diversity, and it's unlikely to withstand changes. It's very unstable. Whereas in our climax community, it's less hostile. We've got higher species diversity, and also it's more stable and likely to withstand a change. So we've gone through that lesson objective, just got the last little bit to go on deflected succession. And deflected succession is where human activity can halt the natural flow of succession and prevent it from reaching its climax community. So when succession is artificially stopped, this is called a plagial climax. So examples of these, for example, include mowing the lawn, a forest fire, grazing of sheep, or clearing shrubbery for growing crops. In each of these, climax communities prevented from being reached. So that is our um, work for today on succession. Please remember in your exam, don't use the words amount, it, they or size. And good luck, guys, for your exams.